Hello, my name's Liz Welch and today I'm going to show you something a little different using friendly plastic and jewel enamels, which are a type of ultra thick embossing enamel. We're going to make a double sided cabochon pendant. Heat a stick of friendly plastic on a non stick craft mat, sprinkle on a little bit of jewel enamels, and then heat with a heat gun again. A, little, a few of the jewel enamels might just um, blow away, but if you've heated the plastic well enough, um, you should be able to just tap them in gently and then keep on heating until they start to uh, bubble up and do what jewel enamels do and melt onto the surface. It takes a few moments because the jewel enamels soften at a higher temperature than the friendly plastic does. Jewel enamels soften at about 140 degrees centigrade, whereas friendly plastic softens between 60 and 70 degrees centigrade. So quite a difference in heat. So keep on adding just a little bit at a time. I like to add lots of different colours, just a pinch at a time, uh, to get a really beautiful crusty sort of look. And um, here we go where I've added now probably about three or four different colours, sprinkling on a little bit of gold. This uh, is now ready for working with. I've cooled it in, in cold water and just dry it off. Um, and away we go again. We're going to um, cut, we're using a mould, uh, silicon moulds, they're sugar craft moulds, and we're going to cut some pieces of friendly plastic to, and I'm going to use the large cabochon here. There's different ways of heating the friendly plastic, uh, but I'm going to use the, uh, hot, uh, the heat gun method for the first one, and then I'll show you how to do it with hot water as well. So turn your piece upside down, and you're going to soften it using the heat gun again. It won't take that long, maybe about 20 seconds or so, um, because it is already still a little bit warm, despite it having been in the cold water. But it does need to be soft, but not, not really, really sticky. To avoid getting things stuck to your fingers, I always put just a tiny bit of oil, cooking oil, ordinary cooking oil on my fingers, um, and it makes your fingers non-stick, effectively. Push the uh, friendly plastic coloured side down into the mould, Pay attention to all your edges and roll in those corners. Push it down thoroughly um, and make sure that uh, you really haven't got any air bubbles underneath there. If you may, you may need to heat it again with a heat gun to um, just soften it because areas may have cooled a little and become a little hard. So just heat again, but don't not for too long, just to soften. And then press and ease in the edges. You use your fingers to just ease in the edges. Sometimes turn it upside down to press on the, on the surface, work surface, to flatten the edge. Because the flatter the edge, the neater your finished uh, pendant will be. So now I'm going to make um, the little cabochons for the earrings. So they're very much smaller. So I've taken a strip, I'm just cutting it in, in, uh, in half. I'm going to heat this one, just as we've done before. And uh, heat it up with a heat gun and then we'll pop it into the cabochon mould. Again it only takes a few moments to do this and it's uh, easily done. If you've heated it up too much and you've found that your piece is stuck to your work surface just give it a few moments to cool down and then you'll be able to um, pick it off the surface and carry on. Okay. The, with the smaller moulds, you'll find that your friendly plastic completely fills the mould um, and you can squish it in and flatten it off just as we've done before. If you find you've got a little too much, just pinch it up and snip it off with scissors. Um, but this is perfectly fine. There's just enough in there. Now I'm going to put it in cold water to cool and harden it quickly because I'm impatient. You could just leave it on the side if you want. If it's not quite cold enough, leave it in there. And that one is, it's cold, quite cool enough, it's come out of the mould and it's got a lovely crusty texture. I should say encrusted rather than crusty. Crusty doesn't sound very lovely, but it is very, very crusted. It's just gorgeous texture. I need to dry things off because everything gets a little bit damp. Particularly if the, for the next um, thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply some transfer foils. Just to the areas where the black background of the friendly plastic is showing through. The jewel enamels have split the surface of foil of the friendly plastic so we've got a bit of black background showing through. Sometimes that's lovely but it's also an opportunity to add some extra colour. I'm doing this by briefly heating the friendly plastic with my heat gun, just briefly, 
ever so briefly till it's just tacky and then apply the transfer foils and you want to remember the colour side has to be away from the, the surface and just touch it on briefly and you can see you can use all sorts of little scraps for that. I tend to rub mine in a little just to take off the very high shine new look to it to make it blend in a little bit more. Do not overheat or you will be in danger of distorting your shape here, your cabochon shape. Okay, so that looks pretty done to me. Now, as an alternative way, rather than using a heat gun, I like to use hot water. There's a great benefit to hot water because um, the plastic can never get hotter than the hot water is. And the hot water here is at 70 degrees centigrade. Um, and uh, it means it's also non-stick. The water adds a non-stickiness to it. Oops. You can see from this camera angle that um, what a state my table is. I uh, am not a very tidy worker. Okay, so you can see that the plastic is nice and floppy in my hands and I can push it into the cabochon mould. I didn't need oil on my fingers this time because the water acts as the lubrication. Fold in those edges. You know, sometimes with this you get um, a really attractive eff effect on the reverse and you may not want to make it into a double-sided cabochon a pendant. Um, the, the, the reverse side can be very lovely indeed but again press in the corners and the edges there are no corners what do i mean press in the, the edges and uh, make sure that it's nice and smooth you can pop it back in the hot water in the mold to reheat if it's um, become a little bit hard and press down to make sure there's no air bubbles nice and firm and then you can press it on the work surface again as we did before once you're confident that you've got it in there okay that needs to now go in the cold water and there we have that and the, the little cabochon for the earrings um, popping out beautifully and after drying off this is what we've got as four component as the component parts for two earrings and a pendant and you can see that lovely crusty surface okay to assemble the cabochons OK, I've just taken a tiny little piece of uh, warm, friendly plastic. You can either heat it with a heat gun or, uh, uh, or the hot water. And I've wrapped it round the end of an eye pin. And I'm going to heat the backs of the cabochons here um, with a heat gun just until they're just outside. It's a little glossy. Not long. You can see that this is not long at all. Keep it moving so you don't get hot spots. Place that, uh, the head pin, with a little bit of warm friendly plastic in the middle and then place the, the other side of the cabochon on top. And if you haven't overheated, you should be able to press the things gently together to make sure that the edges stick together. And you just ease these uh, closed so that there's no gaps. Use your finger to, to rub gently. And if you find you've got tiny little gaps, you can actually reheat if you need to. So, for instance, here, I've got a little gap on the side there that I want to reheat, so I'm going to take the heat gun and um, heat it very briefly. I point the heat gun upwards, heat it very briefly, and then add some transfer foils just along the edge, and then a little rub, and you don't even know that the join's there. So you can continue to do that all the way around. Um, it's sometimes helpful to cool things in cold water in between times, just so you don't you're not in danger of distorting your shape. Pay attention to the little bit at the top uh, where the head pin comes out, the eye pin comes out. Okay, to do the um, little earring uh, cabochons, it's slightly different technique. I'm going back into the mould here, and I'm going to heat both of the sides together. Pay particular attention to the one in the mould, uh, which needs to be slightly stickier than the other one. And uh, when they're both tacky, you place the head pin on. You don't need any extra plastic on the head pin this time. And just place the other side of the cabochon of the earring on the top there. Press down firmly. Again, if you haven't overheated, you shouldn't be distorting any shapes. And just pop it out. And again, you just do the same squeezing and easing method with your fingers to match up the sides and um, tidy up your joints. And here are the um, finished pendants and earrings before we've made them up into um, jewelry.